Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah's very own roundup of the week's news. Hanji. This week in the dunya. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> All right, guys, first bit of news. Last episode, we explained how Nicki Minaj has been invited by Saudi Arabia to shake her bits and bobs about, yeah? yeah. But now it's transpired that Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj. has cancelled her show in Saudi, citing LGBT and women's rights. All right, let me get this straight. A woman that's made a career from changing her body, from flaunting that very body and shaking her bits and bobs is defending women's rights. <laughs> That's like Donald Trump leading the next Eid prayer mate. Hanji, Bismillah. All I'm gonna say to that is there's probably gonna be a few Tajweed mistakes and let's face it everybody's gonna have to repeat their Salah because he probably forgot to do wudu. Hanji. <laughs> I saw this tweet which was quite profound. Nikki stuck to her principles and because of those very principles she sacrificed the money that she would have received by headlining at Riyadh. Yeah? But Saudi on the other hand sacrificed their religious beliefs for the dollar and the dime. Who came across looking better over here? All right, let's move on to news number two, yeah? Our mate Tommy Robinson My name is Tommy Robinson Is back in prison Yeah, yeah that's right He's like a fish that's returned back to the water Nah, that doesn't sound right He sounds like a donkey that's returned back to the field <laughs> Yeah, that's better Now being the drama queen that he is I feel like I'm two days away from being sentenced to death You're finished. in the UK. He's being paranoid that if he goes to prison, You're finished. he's gonna die mate. So he started begging and pleading with the United States to accept him as an immigrant. Today I'm calling on the help of Donald Trump, his administration and the Republican Party to grant me and my family political asylum in the United States of America. <laughs> Now this is ironic considering this guy is very outspoken against immigrants. Now you know how it feels. And you know what mate, you don't mention 1948, the British Nationality Act, where former subjects of the British Empire were encouraged to come and settle in this country. Well, after they had emptied their countries, so I mean they had nothing left, so I mean it was the least that could be done. So as he was begging and pleading Donald Trump, Donald Trump was too busy blocking people on Twitter mate. But anyways the courts ruled that he can't ban people on Twitter, freedom of speech and all that isn't it? We love the United States. Moving on to the next bit of news, Ronaldinho yeah, this guy has got a five million dollar mansion and he keeps both of his girlfriends in his mansion in two different rooms mate. And he has time with both of them, gives them both gifts. It's very similar to Islam where when you marry them that's it, they have rights now yeah and you are forced by your religion to give them both your rights otherwise there's going to be consequences. Ronaldinho here didn't really have consequences so six years later he got rid of one of them. But those of you that are watching going ha, backwards barbaric bums. Nah mate calm down yeah because according to a UK study the average a sexual partner that a person will have in the UK is about two to four yeah and it goes even up to nine in some cases. Over here a person will go around you know doing their thing like a chicken wing you know, using and then discarding, using and discarding. In Islam it says look there is a need and this is the way you fulfill the need. You make sure no one gets hurt. Class. And the final bit of news guys, this is, a, this is a belter mate. I'm sure you guys are aware of the two million Uyghur Muslims that are be being held in re-education, detention, anti-terrorism, concentration camps in China. Yeah, Lots of terminology being used. Yeah, What's emerged is 22 Western countries have condemned it. Yeah, But now 37 countries which include Pakistan, Oman, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, UAE have said you know what, what China is doing is fine. Let's be a bit realistic over here. The West is supporting the Uyghur cause yeah, because 
they're against China, yeah? China's been a thorn in the backside of the West for a very long time. So any excuse to cuss China, they'll jump on that. I mean, if human rights was such a, a, a big cause, I mean, you'd see countries interfering in Kashmir. Millions of Rohingya have been displaced. Why is no one doing anything? It's because there's no benefit there. If you look in the Congo, yeah, if you look in certain African countries, there's been civil war going on for God knows how long. No one's interfering there. Some Muslim countries like Pakistan, they can say, you know what, we've got a very strong relationship with China, blah, 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 blah. So it's mainly economic reasons because China is a very good strategic partner when it comes to the economy. But either way, guys, whether you're doing it from the West for political reasons or you're doing it from the East for economic reasons. Bottom line is 2 million Muslim Uyghurs are suffering. There is no political or economic reason to justify that mate. All I can say is may Allah guide our rulers that are blind to the suffering of our brothers and sisters and if they are not to be guided may Allah replace them with someone better because there's a lot going on and stuff like this is clear cut mate, you know what I mean? Anyways guys, <laughs> let's leave it there for now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Insta. Stay tuned for the podcast, Healthy Eating. Yes, it's a deadly one, been working on it. Till next time guys. Hanji. Salamu alaikum.